So that, the, the case that you mentioned, there are two parts to it. The first part of the regulations at Rhode Island Housing that absolutely anybody who has any sense of leverage or power or authority should be advocating to change those regulations. The second part is that the mayor has significant authority and control over the way misdemeanors are charged and prosecuted by the police. And here in Providence, we have this unique situation where the police will charge folks with, with misdemeanors and the police is also charged with prosecuting the case themselves. And that, it, to me, is unconstitutional, it's unacceptable. We have had incidents where people are charged with resisting arrest, but they're never told what the initial reason for the arrest was. So and it, it makes no sense. And the mayor has almost unilateral control over these policies. And this is something that we have to look at because your friend, was charged with possession for having residue. And because it was the third charge, as you indicated, it rises to the felony level. There should have never been a third charge. There should have never been a third charge. And in this particular case, in the city of Providence, the mayor has significant power over the policies that determine who gets charged for misdemeanors and whether or not they're prosecuted and how those policies move forward.